Hello, hello, buongiorno a tutti. Um, today we were just thinking about, actually I was thinking tonight, um, last night, um, what I can talk about the sound posts and I have the impression that I didn't tell everything and on the other side then I was checking right now with Nina and we made already six videos. I will come back to those six videos quite soon and one of those starts at episode five, check episode five and I will put a link down here. And there all starts and then I will certainly come to all the other numbers and you will have to search for. Um, violin making is a very interesting trade and especially for you as a musician it's always very difficult to uh, understand what is actually now the importance and you have no idea how to control it. And there is too much mystery made out of it about something which is just somewhere there in this dark area inside the F holes inside the instrument, right? So you only can trust your maker that he does a great job. Now, it seems strange, but a bad fitted sound post still can make your sound of your instrument sound very well, okay? And so you say, hey, why, why is he talking about this? Why is he investing that much time in this stupid thing if it's not important? The problem is if the sound post is a little bit moving because of temperature, pegs go down because of temperature or humidity change or whatever, the instrument will not sound anymore the way it sounds now, right now. And since never change a winning horse, a winning sound post, you are now in a big problem. So at the very end, I, I, I have my, 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 my entire career is full with customers who tell me that they had a violin and then they went to the maker it got adjusted and it never sounded that way anymore. And you might know it and maybe you are also in the same situation. And it's actually, it's actually from the physical point of view, it's nonsense. It's only a question of how much time you are willing to dedicate, pay or have your maker work on your instrument in order that you find exactly that winning sound post position again. To do that you have lots of options. You can play the sound post lottery by throwing it in and then you just start moving without any concept and then one day you finally will find the right position. But then at that point you certainly understand how precious this position is because it's so difficult to find exactly that right position, right? Now, it is a strange trade when I'm living my daily life, I have these glasses. When I sit down here, I have these glasses, okay? A little bit stronger. When I'm working and I'm working a little bit closer, like my purfling, then I do both glasses, okay? Don't want to see that, and don't talk now to, to the ones who are in this trade with the glasses. And probably I have to get an eye surgery sooner or later. And then sometimes I also work with these ones, and then I put these ones on top of, these ones are over 300 euros. I have a, a, a box from Rohstock, um, the other ones are Porsche design, these are Rohstock, and then you have these lenses and you can, and this all just to see exactly more than even more is enough. And sometimes this is actually, it also began with this one because of Karl Becker and sons, Karl uh, Becker passed away. But he worked all day in the morning, he put it this on and I think Paul is still working like this, okay? And all this just to see better what you're actually doing. And now 
if you're into optic and uh, things like this and viewing, you understand the darker it is, the less light you have, the less you can see. So then we certainly, we take a light like this, we put it on the F holes and then we put inside. But still there's less light and you need better glasses. And my problems with the eyes actually started just when I was fitting my sound posts. So this about this and how important it is. Now, let's come back to the initial question or uh, subject. If you have a violin where you fit the sound post in a perfect way, which means that when you get in, this is now a raw double bass sound post, you go into the F holes, da, 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 you're inside and then this surface and this one they have to fit perfectly the arching. Now, it seems so easy, yeah? But here you see that the arching is round and if you come with the sound post here, it doesn't fit, it doesn't work. So you have to adjust it, okay? And you certainly see only one part and not the other one. So then we have some mirrors. All these tools are certainly in my sound adjustment tool and if you are, want to get into this subject, sound adjustment tool would be just a great thing because then you also have some other tiny gauges where you can measure from outside where your sound post actually is compared to the bass bar on the other side. Yeah? But this aside, now you, you can live a happy life without sound adjustment kit. Huh? But if, you're, if you just want to get a little bit more about it, uh, you're on a good side. Then you know when you go to your maker what you have to watch. Hmm? And maybe he's then also interested in this tiny toolbox. <laughs> but, so, when I fit now these posts and I look in the back side, I try to cut this area, then I use like a, a bevel, I think it's called, and then I try to make it as good as possible with a chisel, and I make it wet and with a chisel I cut it, and then I, I fit it in a way that if I twist it, that it is not twisting around one corner or another, okay? If I would say now this is my surface and it, I twist the whole thing and it is twisting here, then I have to take away here. If it is twisting and it is moving around that area, then I take it away here. And even with my nice glass collection, then I can even see where it is shiny and then I take it away, okay? I take the chisel like this and I take I take a big one, usually I have a smaller one, and then I just take here like this a little bit away, okay? And then I say, okay, let's, let's try it again. And the reason that somebody doesn't do it all the way through to its final perfect cut is just that in his mind he has already to pull up the string, somebody comes in, wants to buy some strings, wants to change this one and this one and this one and you just say, oh, I make this quick this one and then I go and do this. No. You have to go, I just one thing in my life is just a very clear line. When you start something, whatever happens, finish. And so I finish it and then I can sleep very well at night, okay? Now, since I told you in the very beginning a bad fitted sound post can also sound very well and this is correct. But now, if you have now a well fitted sound post in your instrument, it's easy, it's easy to find the idle position. Because a well-fitted sound post in that area and the area where the sound post should be, I made video number five, the sound post position, and it all starts in that area. 
when you fit that sound post in that area, then the moving in order to achieve your sound that it's a little bit stronger on the E string or the A string or the G string or the D and the A or the E and the G or the first and the second, the fourth and the third, you can do everything. But the sound post in the, if in the beginning has to be fitted very well. Now, here we are in Cremona and I do nothing else than making instruments from the beginning, violins, viola, cello, everything. In the very beginning an instrument needs a sound post which is a little bit longer than what you actually would be fit in an antique instrument. An antique instrument made over hundreds of years had a lot of pressure of the strings. 30, 40 years ago they had like not double but at least a third of power stronger than we are using right now because of high sophisticated high-tech materials on the strings. So the whole instrument is already well deformed to fit for the right size. Here in Cremona we make new instruments after six months, one year. Instruments is a little bit getting a little bit smoother and not this crunchy anymore because the sound post is not long enough. In case you need to get a newer one, the, the original well-fitted sound post is at that point very precious. So you spend that money, that time only once. And then once you get an, a longer one, then you take these bevels here and you make a copy of that one and you, or you get a copy made and you can go to your maker and say can you make me a copy of that one just 0.2 longer and he doesn't even have to fit the sound post in your violin since you have your sound post adjustment kit uh, the sound adjustment kit expert you can do it yourself but maybe the cutting is a little bit more difficult and maybe he, he's laughing at you maybe you're one another crazy one but believe me with this new one which is zero point let's say two millimeters longer this just makes the, the difference okay now certainly I want all my customers to come here and I make it for free, the sound post. I'm happy to see my instruments. After years I stay in contact before somebody in London makes a concert or registration. They come here and we adjust it and if I see that the sound post is too short I make it longer. And it's my pleasure to do that. But in case you have difficulties to come here or you, you, you don't want to send the instrument because of customs and, and danger and all of it, it's all fine. But if you check on it and your maker in your area knows that you're checking on it, he will do a better job. And for a new sound post, I would be willing to pay hundreds, well it's maybe exaggerated, but if somebody charges you $180, believe me, He's not fooling you. He knows exactly how much time he dedicated to make a nice sound post, okay? Um, certainly, if you have a lousy violin, this is uh, for 500, no reason. But a handmade Italian instrument, like the ones we make here, there's maybe one, 200, is not so bad. Compare it with your tires, which are not balanced. You can have the greatest car in your life, if the tires are not balanced and you like this on the road, it's, it's a horror. If you have a great violin and the sound post is not doing exactly what it should be, it's a pain. Yeah? And the message of this whole video is whatever you are playing and even if you think, yeah, I need to get that better instrument, I'm certainly happy if you buy my instruments and this is my, my living is this, okay? But your sound post should be fitted well and then you can search your final perfect idle position, uh, increasing the, resp the, the response, uh, make a louder G string, a, a more crunchy E string,